comes the great Chicago hero who's won many a championship and big game, Michael Jordan, to throw out the ceremonial first ball. So they are trying to get all of the the good <laughs> karma they can get, Joe, here for the get-go. Well, John, no wonder I couldn't get him on the phone. I've been trying to reach him. He's here at the stadium. And he's got a Sammy Sosa jersey on. <laughs> Sammy Sosa, the catcher. Michael and Sosa. Two of the biggest sports icons, not just in Chicago, but in the, the country and the world right now. Ladies and gentlemen, he's a former Chicago Bears first round draft pick who played in Chicago from 87 to 93 and currently the head football coach at the University of Michigan. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Jim Harbaugh. Ladies and gentlemen, He's an Irish mixed martial arts, boxer, and businessman. A former UFC featherweight and lightweight double champion. Also the founder of Title Sport, a next generation sports recovery line. To draw out tonight's ceremonial first pitch, please welcome Connor McGregor. Ladies and gentlemen, he's an actor and comedian. Please welcome Kevin Hart. Charles Barkley going out the ceremonial first pitch. Almost got it there. Are you, you going to say it or do you want me to say it? Go ahead. That's horrible. fans out in full force for the start of the season and you know who's here to throw out the first pitch they didn't indicate who it would be it was kind of a <laughs> a well kept secret but it is sweetness Walter Payton will throw out the first pitch and listen to the ovation that he'll get. Greatest running backs in the history of the National Football League and one of the great icons of Chicago sports throwing it to another Sammy Sosa. Walter Payton honored here with his pregame ceremony. And now ladies and gentlemen please welcome NBA reporter and Chicagoland native Craig Sager. Ladies and gentlemen, direct your attention to the Wrigley Field pitcher's mound once again for another ceremonial pitch. And welcome Sister Jean. First Did she pitch. not there take opening day up a notch? How great. She gets the loudest roar. Is that a spitball? <laughs> <laughs> she doctored uh, in that baseball? I think that was one of those underhand sidearm things. So cute. You've got to love that. I asked her if she had an agent. She said no. I said, you got to get one. Every year on April 15th, baseball honors Jackie Robinson's legacy by celebrating his life, values, and accomplishments. In 2002, the first Roberto Clemente Day was observed to commemorate the lasting memory of one of the game's great ambassadors. And on March 4th of this year, it was announced Luke Gehrig would join Robinson and Clemente as the only players to have a day reserved in their honor across Major League Baseball. Please welcome Steve Gleason. 
and his son, Rivers, as he throws out today's ceremonial first pitch. Welcome a very special guest to throw out a ceremonial first pitch. One of the most celebrated Cub fans and among the most successful comedians and actors of our time. Welcome one of Chicago's very own, Bill Murray. And now, fans, please welcome former NBA MVP and current Bulls guard Derrick Rose and his son PJ. Please welcome Rock and Roll Hall of Famer Gene Simmons. Ladies and gentlemen, she's a five-time Olympic medal-winning gymnast and has nine world championship medals. Please welcome 2008 Olympic gold medal winning gymnast, Nastia Lukin. Ladies and gentlemen, he's best known for starring as Ron Swanson on the hit sitcom Parks and Recreation. Please welcome actor, comedian, and Chicago native Nick Offerman. Back to Wrigley Field, Jackie Chan, the star of the upcoming film, The Karate Kid, throwing out the first pitch. Please welcome actor and Chicago native, Mr. T. Attendance today, there's Mr. Las Vegas. And ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the mound, Pennington Bear. Like all those videos you just saw? Check out the new ones. For more cuff content, make sure you subscribe.